Guys, it's Dave with TheHomeServerShow.com, a member of the Geeks Network. Head out to thegeeksnetwork.com for more home automation goodies. But a very unassuming brown box showed up in the mail, and what was inside was the SmartThings version 2 hub. Now, if you are a SmartThings owner and you got an email from them, you could buy the, the new hub, version 2 hub, for 99 bucks, and they were going to throw in a couple of sensors. So I thought today we would unbox V2 and get these sensors unboxed as well. I just got this like two hours ago, so I'm really uh, really excited to get uh, version 2. So if you have version 1, you're going to have to take out everything out of your version 1 setup and redo it. That is the killer. It's like all this Samsung stuff here. Yeah, that means you have to uh, remove everything out of your V1 setup and add it to your V2 setup, which I've already started doing. Um, I'm sure a lot of folks have started doing that too. Okay, I've got a slip cover that does not want to come out. I don't want to tear it. This is one of those unboxings where you see everything as I see it. Hub. Okay. This is pretty cool. I, I must admit, uh, I'm a packaging geek, and this is very cool. I like the little touch here, with the little blue stripe, and it looks like, yep, that's magnetic. That is really cool. So if you can't see that on video, I'm going to tilt that here. Control and monitor your home from anywhere using your smartphone. And I forgot to show you on the outside of the box. Look at that. All three platforms, Google Play, Apple's App Store, and the Windows Store as well. All right, so we have the hub. Look at that. The SmartThings hub. There's the thickness of it. Almost feels like it's a different piece of plastic down here, like rubbery, sort of. And I don't know about showing my serial number and stuff. You never know about that stuff. So we got power, we've got the reset button, two USBs, and we have Ethernet. Now I know. See how I'm bending this out? I don't want to I don't want to break it right now. Oh! So you pull it backwards. And it comes off. There's your backup battery system. Four double A's. Those look thick enough for double A's. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can get any deeper into the packaging the hub itself, but we're going to leave that alone. So, uh, again, we got a little shell here with a little hello. So let's take a look at that. Let's make sure there's nothing. Yeah, there's a welcome code under there. So I'm just going to keep this over here. Uh, usually you plug in your welcome code and it's, I don't know if it's, I can't remember if it's tied to your hub or not. I don't recall. This should be quick start guide. That's all that is, is quick start guide. Really cool. So look at that. We even get the batteries. Good job, Samsung. Coming up with the Rayovax. We got an Ethernet cable, and we got the power cable. So that looks to be it for the hub unboxing. We'll throw all that back in there. Let's get to the sensors. We got a SmartSense Motion and a SmartSense Open Close. So they're not calling it a multi anymore. I can tell you the temperature of any room. I can tell you in doors, windows, and cabinets. And more open and close. So let's go with the... You know, I should have brought up my old sensors to show you. Because I got a couple sitting around. Got some wall mount hardware. With the uh, obligatory sticky pads. Yeah. Not quite as fancy as the other packaging, but I understand. It's a $50 sensor. So there we have the, um, the activation tab, which actually just pulls off a piece of plastic from the battery and the contacts, which puts it in inclusion mode. So definitely do not pull that until you are ready to go. Looks like it goes on this side, like so. Relatively smaller. I'll try to get this out and compare it with the old generation, which will still work. It's just uh, we got a new generation of products here. It's got a little icon on the front. Open clothes. Kind of cool. And another motion sense. So these are kind of cool. 
We got the same little baggie of goods here. And, oh, you know what? In the other box, meet the smart sense sensor. So, a little quick start guide. Probably how to add it to your hub and stuff, which is cool. Smile, I can see you. Got a little bit of home automation humor there. Um, here is the sensor. I assume that you can pull this out in order to get to the battery. And there is a wall mount bracket, which is cool to have. That is separate. That's going to go right there. I don't want to tear up my... Don't pull this. Don't pull those until you're ready to go. All right, so we have SmartThings version 2. Can't wait to get this activated and uh, see what kind of uh, decisions that it can make on my network rather than throwing everything to the cloud. See if there's any speed, uh, noticeable speed on some of my sensors. I hope so. And that has been the unboxing of yeah, SmartThings version 2. See you later.